Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, the Monday Morning Pulse Report for seafood purchasers. Some fast facts to start this week's broadcast. We are already securing product for Lent next year. Both Lent and Chinese New Year are falling early in 2012. Chinese New Year will be on January 23rd and Lent will begin on March 9th. Prices for December shipments pre-Chinese New Year are high because suppliers are worried about currency fluctuations, in particular the rising yuan. In the news this week, I'm looking at turbot. Newfoundland turbot fisheries, a species otherwise referred to as Greenland halibut, opens today, June 6th. Last year, fishermen exceeded their quota by 230 metric tons. Consequently, under a new quota reconciliation program, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans is cutting Newfoundland's quota by 230 metric tons, or 56%. Turbot is typically popular on the East Coast and in Europe. This year, turbot has gained popularity throughout North America because of its ability to be, to be substituted for the extremely expensive Pacific halibut. Prices for delivery to main EU ports are seven to eight dollars per kilogram. In other news, Copper River salmon landings are still much higher than expected. Regardless, prices are staying strong due to high demand, particularly in emerging markets including Eastern Europe, Russia, China and South America. Normally prices tend to come down a bit as more fisheries open in Alaska. Major Alaskan sockeye fisheries will be open by June 15th. But this year prices for all salmon species are expected to remain strong. Even prices for pink salmon for which this year's projection of 55 million fish is 38 percent above the most recent five-year average and are expected to hold. I'm speculating that if they if they do drop it will not be by much. And finally, in California, California squid landings are low. The majority of California's annual catch is generally landed in September and October. However, it is unlikely that prices for California Lilligal will come down this fall because global squid supplies are so low. Argentinian, Argentinian Elix squid landings have been low since 2009, and Japanese Todorotis landings are also down this year. That wraps up this week. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.